Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rob Rob Robert and today I wanted to talk about what symptoms I experienced prior to being diagnosed with a brain tumor. So as many of you know, I have craniopharyngeonoma and what that is is it's a brain tumor that originates in uh, around the stalk of the pituitary gland and it grows from there and, and it can affect, uh, affect your vision, affect your hormones among other things. Now this tumor is slow growing and typically occurs in people who are either in children who are, who are relatively young or it occurs in people who are older than 40. So when I was diagnosed with craniopharyngeonoma, because this tumor is slow growing, it's thought that this tumor originated in me when I was uh, in my late adolescence. Now while I was in my late adolescence, I didn't experience any symptoms. Uh, I was asymptomatic for a number of years. The first time I began to experience symptoms was when I was about 29 or 30 years old when I began to began to have constant headaches. I remember the first day of having the headache it being pretty severe and I'm not kind of the person who usually gets headaches and so to have a headache that persisted for beyond a nap was pretty unusual for me. There were instances where my headache was so bad that I couldn't even go to class. They were just, they were off the charts. I basically could lay in bed and that was the only thing that I could do. And walking around was miserable, you know, opening my eyes was miserable. I basically couldn't do anything but lay there. So at the time I had been going to a chiropractor uh, for other reasons and I mentioned it to my chiropractor. Uh, she said that it's likely tension headaches. Uh, in order to get rid of the headaches, um, I started having my neck regularly adjusted. So I regularly saw the chiropractor. And what I noticed over time was that my headaches seemed to be all around my head. And as I saw the chiropractor more and more, my headaches started to move back. And so at first they were kind of all over generally. And then it kind of be over like halfway my head. And then it kind of moved back. And I continued to move back till it was only in one spot. And then as the headache became less and less, it became more and more focused onto a single point on my head. And they would come and go. They, and then it would become, oh, they, 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 would become, they became so mild that uh, I could be working and sometimes I wouldn't even notice them. I'd have to think about it. Do I have a headache? And I think, oh, you know what? I do have one. It's a, little, it's a small one, but it's back there. So headaches were kind of something that were just always <laughs> on my mind. <laughs> so that was the main symptom that I felt of my brain tumor. Other symptoms that I had was that my vision wasn't 100% right. Like I have, I've had pretty good vision all my life. And it got to a point where my vision was just, it seemed like it was off. I couldn't tell 100% if I had 20-20 vision like I've had in the past. And it seemed like um, things were slightly out of focus, but I wasn't able to get to a doctor for an eye exam. I really wasn't able to tell definitively whether or not I had eye problems or not. So the next symptom I experienced was that I had hearing loss and for some reason, so it was only in my left ear and I don't remember when I first experienced it, but I remember noticing that there was a different difference in my, in my ability to hear in my left side versus my right side. My right side, my hair was fine, it, was, it felt like normal, whereas my left side it felt like maybe I was hearing like maybe 50% of my of my right ear, maybe not quite that drastic, maybe I was hearing like 75%. The next symptom that I experienced was a very slight numbness slash tingling in my face. I felt it like a lot in my cheeks and um, it was just kind of, it was very bizarre. I wasn't, it wasn't like it was paralyzed, like I'm having a stroke or anything, but it was just there. So I could smile fine, like my facial expressions were great, it wasn't a problem with that. But I felt, I did feel that tingling sensation. So I began to feel that, probably about, maybe the weekend before I ended up going into surgery. So after I started feeling the tingling, the next big uh, symptom that I experienced was a personality change. Now. I didn't notice this in myself, from within myself, somebody else pointed it out to me. <clears throat> so what basically happened was I was on the phone with my girlfriend and she could tell that something was wrong with me. She could tell by the, not only by the way that I was speaking, but also the, the, the words that I was speaking. So I was being overly loving to her, which I'm typically a very loving person, but this was like to an extreme and it was so much that it like, that it raised red flags for her and like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. 
I also remember during this time when I was being overly when I was being overly loving to her, I was also also having suicidal thoughts. Thoughts that would pop into my mind of like, oh, I wonder what would happen if I did this. And this being, um, you know, jumping out in front of traffic or uh, somehow somehow killing myself. But the bizarre thing about it was I had no desire at all to kill myself. And when I was thinking these things, I would take physical precautions to make sure that I didn't spontaneously jump out in front of traffic or in front of a train or something. So I would hold on to a railing or I would stand behind a pole, something to put a barrier between me and whatever it was that I, would, that I was thinking about. So those were the symptoms that I was having. And none of the symptoms on their own really told me that I should get my brain examined for a brain tumor. Looking back, I now realize that if I had taken everything as a whole and really put the pieces together, I probably should have been able to figure out that there's something seriously wrong with me and that I need to get it checked out. So those are the signs and symptoms that I had experienced up until the day of surgery when they did the MRI and realized that I had a cyst growing in my brain, which is essentially a, like, a, like a water balloon basically expanding in my brain, pushing, my, pushing on my brain, um, causing the headaches. And in addition to that, the cyst was expanding and it was blocking one of the ventricles in my head, which allows, the ventricles allow circulation of fluid within your head, and my, my cyst was growing and blocking that, which was causing a lot of the symptoms that I was feeling. <clears throat> and only until that I got the results of that MRI did everything that I was experiencing, all the symptoms, the headaches, the, the vision, the numb face, the hearing loss, only then after getting MRI, I, MRI results did I realize, oh, it all makes sense now. Uh, so that's a little bit about what I was experiencing prior to surgery. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.